All right, hey everybody, how are you? Welcome to The Coding Zoo. If this is your first time joining, my name is Shane. Our goal at The Coding Zoo is to help others learn how to program. In previous videos, we've talked about what languages to learn, to become a software engineer, what's the best one to learn quickly, to get your foot in the door. In today's video, I'm going to cover what resources are available to do that, what resources are out there that will help you learn to become a software engineer as quickly as possible. So, hey, if that interests you, stick around. We're gonna jump right in. All right, so now how should you learn? How should you learn these things? How should you learn JavaScript, HTML, CSS? How do you approach learning? There are tons of resources out there for you. Uh, just to name a few, there's freecodecamp.org. There's places like My Coding Zoo, The Coding Zoo. We have an HTML building blocks playlist. We have a CSS building blocks playlist. We have a JavaScript building blocks playlist. You can watch those videos in order and learn. There's tons of YouTube channels you can learn each of these languages. I would recommend, along with that though, you find something that's a little bit more structured. You can find online courses on Udemy, Code Academy. You can also uh, find excellent books out there to learn from. There's a lot of resources out there. Let's say that you bought five books, paid 40 bucks each. That's 200 bucks. You just spent 200 bucks versus what? How much is college these days? I forget, it's up there. What? So 200 bucks is a great investment for a high paying career. So find some good structured books. Now you, you don't need books. You can learn from videos. You can take online courses. Um, you can learn from different places here and there, but I recommend you find a place that takes you through a structured program. Instead of just learning a little bit of this here, a little bit of that here, learn things in kind of in a certain order. I recommend that. One such books that I would recommend for JavaScript, and if you learn these books, if you learn this book set inside and out, you know JavaScript plenty enough to get a job. Uh, that book set is called You Don't Know JS. So here, I think I've got one right here. You Don't Know JS. So there's five or six books in this series. I'll put a link to a video up here, and I'll also put it down in the comments where I another video where I talk about this book set. This is an excellent book set. This helps you learn JavaScript inside and out. You really learn core JavaScript and you learn deeply. There's a lot of good books out there like this for JavaScript, also for HTML and for CSS. Start on HTML, start on CSS, then jump into JavaScript, learn it deeply. I also recommend that you definitely get more involved in social media, hop on Twitter, follow 100 Days of Code. There's a hashtag, 100 Days of Code. There's hashtag web development. There's hashtag code newbie, code newbies. There's hashtag women who code. There's tons of groups out there on Twitter that have people that can help you learn or know what to learn from. And there's also people out there who shared their experience learning to be a developer without a degree. You can learn from them. So I highly recommend that you get out there and get involved in the social media aspect. Um, it also is good for building connections and maybe even will help you find that job later. So, you know, you can learn a lot from reading a structured book. You can learn a lot from watching our videos here at the Coding Zoo and other YouTube channels. You can learn a lot from you know, taking courses on Udemy Code Academy or, or freecodecamp.org. I highly recommend all of these options. But I also recommend is build something. Once you start learning enough, start building something. Come up with your own little project. Start building web pages, right? Building web pages that use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Start creating your own little projects. Consider an art. You're creating your own little projects. Create your own web pages. Come up with some ideas and start putting it in practice. Start building stuff from end to end. A complete web page that uses all three of those technologies. Um, so once you start learning the basics, once you start learning deeply through the books and, and, and YouTube and, and courses, then start building stuff. Make sure you can put those things into practice. It's not just in your head, but you can actually do it. 
So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please, hey guys, click the thumbs up. That really helps us get the word out. It helps this channel a lot. We really appreciate it. If you have any questions about what I've said today, you know, leave me a message below. I'm very good at responding to uh, comments below and I always try to give back to you. So definitely leave me a comment below. Check out the rest of our videos. Check out our HTML building blocks. Check out our JavaScript building blocks. Check out our CSS building block videos. Um, they're really good videos to start with also. If you are starting your adventure on becoming a software engineer, you're going, you've decided you're going to learn on your own and do that. Hey, best of luck, best wishes. You can do it. Just follow these items. Don't give up. Be determined. Keep learning. You will make it. I uh, It took me three or four years to finally get my foot in the door. Actually, two or three years to finally get my foot in the door. And I've been doing it for 20 years since. So you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Keep up the hard work. You will get there. Just be determined. So, hey, again, if you like the video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed yet, click subscribe. It really helps us out a lot. And if you know somebody who might benefit from hearing this video, you know, send them a link to this video, pass it around. We really appreciate it. Thank you for watching today and best of luck to your job adventure. Have a great day.